Greetings. It's uh, not so happy hat time. Uh, so before you continue watching this video, I would ask that you don't have any children within earshot because I'm not in the habit of frightening children and uh, we'll leave that to the dark side. They're pretty good at being masters of that, um, which is what I want to talk about. We are duality, so it's no good just ignoring the dark side. Um, you need to have an under or an inner standing, I should say, of what it's all about. And big thank you to Martin from Flat Earth British for bringing this to my attention. And um, it sort of shocked me um, where this led, shall we say. Now, I'm sure that... Um, You've come across the saying about being a pillar of the community and painting the town red. Thank you, Mark, for that. And uh, it's often mentioned about mafia and um, if you cross them, how you end up at the basement of a building and so on. <laughs> well, it actually gets worse than that, but it also helps explain a lot of things um, some burning questions some of you probably have. So if I can just explain this. Um, Google US patent 420-3674A. It's the use of blood in cement, mortar and concrete industry for obtaining a lightened material. Now the funny thing with this awakening is that um, the order that you sometimes come across things. By the way, I'm wearing this hat because I think it's going to be in use quite a lot in the coming months. And I thought I'd give it a little dust off. Get used to wearing it again. So yes, use of blood in the cement, mortar and concrete. Very interesting just purely by the words. I mean, brick and um, similar is often referred to by the shade terra cotta. But we don't want to be terrorizing anything in a cot, do we? Uh, what else can we look at here? Cement, semen, mint, mortar. Well, when you graduate from a university, you remember, remember you get those black robes and that square hat called a mortar board. There's a reason for that. It, everything is in plain sight. And concrete. Well, crete is basically the base of a giant tree. So you've been conned with that one as well. Yes, so interestingly, I was watching a video the other day on the process of um, where they go through this automated process with blood and it separates into various colours. The red and then it's like a cream and almost transparent section which is then remixed together and then classified by type. Incidentally, if any of you are considering doing these DNA tests, I would advise you very carefully to read all the small print. Just as with anything else, always look at the small print because it is right there. There's no conspiracy theory about any of this. Same as with this patent. So mortar, that's a very interesting word. You've got the French word for death, which is mort, which leads tar, which leaves tar, tartaria. Now it's been speculated, um, or, well, apparently it is. If you look at these catacombs in Paris, that there is only a small section open to the public. And it's thigh bones and skulls all neatly stacked up. 
which begs the question, what happened to the rest of the skeletons? Where did all these skulls and bones come from? Funny there's a skull and bones secret society of which the two Bushes that became presidents of the United States belong to amongst many others. So you've got mortar. Yes, and if you look at brick, you'll notice it's blood red or can be blood red, London brick, for example. And then you've got the cream of the cement. Rather sick, really. And it also explains why you'll get pick up feelings about certain buildings. I mean, people do quite literally end up putting body and soul into these buildings, it would seem. It's not very pleasant, I know. But it needs to be addressed, it needs to be spoken about. A few people I've spoken today seem well aware of this and have known about this for some time. Um, no criticism of them. Um, but it is an unpleasant subject that does need to be looked at further. But yes, I would say buildings. That is what happened to the Tartarian civilization. And that explains the orphan trains as well. So it's talked about um, DNA being the building blocks. Well, again, the words are right there in plain sight. So I'm just joining a few dots here. And I don't care whether you want to laugh at me. I'm not here to win prizes. I'm not here to make friends. This is the thing with the truth-seeking side. It's an unpleasant truth. And it needs to be talked about openly. Because if we're going to keep things secret, then that's suppression of knowledge. Knowledge is, is to be shared, is it not? Even right down to the apple. The knowledge of good and evil. I've said this before. Having the knowledge of something does not mean that you are partaking in it. Having an inner standing and recognising it is just the same as when you cross a road. You look both ways. Otherwise, something rather unpleasant can happen to you. And you could end up as part of a building foundation. <laughs> Which uh, I don't wish on anybody. So I thought I'd just put this little compilation together. Uh, try and sort of explain things and once again it is down to you to do your own research on this. There are far too many who, people out there who are just bone idle and lazy and would rather watch the idiot box and be entertained. Well that's fine. Do carry on. You've heard this now from me, you've heard this from many other people. If you choose to remain in ignorance, that is your choice. But uh, all I'm going to say is, on your head be it. Because um, to do nothing is just complacency and you're quite happy with the way things are. Same as if you vote, you're quite happy to pick from the selection that you are given to choose from. Which is a signal that, oh, they have voted, so they want this. Humanity is its own worst enemy in every way. And by not doing the inner work, finding out for yourself, do, do by all means listen to what I'm saying, listen to other people. You're under no obligation. You make your own mind up from all this. Anyway, hat off now. Because I don't want to end on a, a dismal note. I mean, it's, it's actually quite amazing um, the way this all comes together, how things just open up. And if you are open, you will start to see a lot more. And there is a wonderful world. And there is a wonderful aspect to the, even to this reality. It's not all doom and gloom, although it's portrayed that way. Because remember, fear always feeds on fear. You allow fear into your life if you are fearful. 
You just need to find a way to rise above it. And when you realize and use real eyes, it does open up and it does become a release. And there is a wonderful world out there that is for definite. And I would like more people to actually see it. This may well be a copy of a true uh, eternal uh, reality but it is still beautiful and we can still enjoy it there is some wonders to be found uh, only the other day I had a dragonfly come and sit on my hand and then it moved to my shoulder and I could hear it talking to me and then it hovered in front of my face and went back to my hand I actually watched its head move like that and then it went flying off around the pond again and birds, animals, if anything you see that is behaving differently around you, then do make a note of it. Look up the meaning of the spiritual animal because these are all signs from nature to help you. Same with the, with the number sequences. If you're seeing 1111, for example, or 222, you happen to look up and see these things. There is a reason for it. And it is little, these are what is known as angel numbers. Simply just type in angel number and then the actual number that you saw into a Google search. And just scroll through, have a look at the general meaning of the consensus across all the different uh, websites that are telling you all these different meanings. Because again, it is there to help you. It's not all doom and gloom, you know. I mean, let's face it, those of you that uh, consider yourself awake look what you've been through in your lives you were probably fed on some of the most poisonous food with e-numbers you've probably had vaccines you've been subjected to an education a cyst stem and yet you've broken away from it because you're seeing things nothing that the dark side can throw at you can actually fool you completely if you're starting to see things and question things as long as you remain sovereign to yourself and that is important that you do remain sovereign to yourself. That means not following in any fake belief system, but being sovereign to yourself, just that. And it does unlock doors, or tours, I could say. Anyway, I'll leave that there, and ta-ta for now.